Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Black Friday. We are recording this on Black Friday, so if you're here live, welcome. Thank you for being here. And everybody else, I hope if you're out shopping, getting good deals, Jordan picked himself up some Astro, new A50s. Astro 850s. The A50s, yeah. They're like a year old, so they were on sale at my nice. local store. Nice. Good for you, man. Yeah. yeah well done. I, I, Treat yourself. I prefer wireless. I feel more free. See, I, I don't. The one thing that bothers me is I like if I have to get up and go to the bathroom, it's just an extra step to take off my headphones. Yeah. Okay, you know I, I get mean? that. I get yeah, that. Like, yeah, that I just keep them on. Yeah, just keep yeah. them on, baby. Keep them on. If I get up to go get a drink, some food. Yeah. yeah. Well yeah. done. Well, congratulations. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'll just start by saying we are thankful for everybody that listens to this show. Thank you very much. We are. We've got to know many of you over the years, and it's been uh, it's been a wonderful opportunity and pleasure. To make new friends, new internet friends across the world, from Australia to Japan. And oh, Canada. I think we have and a few in the Middle East as well, yes. according to the yes. analytics. According to the analytics, they're all over the place. But yeah, yeah no. Anyways, uh, okay, I'm thankful fair. for everybody who listens <laughs> to this show. So we all are. So thank you very much. Do you, anyone want to say anything else to thankful for? I'm thankful oh, for... Board. Games. Games. Oh, how about the Series X? The speed of the Series X. Yeah, I'm thankful for NVMe drives. Yeah. I'm thankful for no loading screens. I'm thankful for <laughs> technology. For technology. Yeah. I do like technology. I'll tell you what I what game I'm very thankful for at the moment that I'm becoming obsessed with. In fact, let's bring up some of your sweet, sweet gameplay, Mr. McSpicy, All right. while we talk about it. And that is Halo Infinite Multiplayer. I think it's the funnest multiplayer experiences that I've had in a very long time mm -hmm. in a game. Mm -hmm. They absolutely mm -hmm. nailed it gameplay-wise. It is fabulous, it, particularly if you're a Halo fan. If you're a Halo fan you are oh, and played the original, and by original I don't mean Halo Reach, even though that's the prequel. I mean the first Halo, Halo 1. Halo CE? Ha Halo Combat Evolved mm. and Halo 2. And, and even Halo, Halo 3. 3. Yeah. Well, uh, that's what I was gonna, so I would say and this is a bold statement. Um I would say this game is one of my favorites since Halo 2 and 3 and some of the most fun I've had in multiplayer uh, since Halo 2 and 3, but I don't want to say it's better than Halo 2 or 3, especially 3, because 3 is my favorite, so we'll just use 3. Yep. Um, I don't want to say it's my favorite since Halo 3, like just yet, because I want to see how the campaign turns out. And, you know, okay, well, so multiplayer there. multiplayer aside, it's all I've been playing. and it's, yeah. it's fa In fact, I haven't played games with you guys in a while. I've just been so busy, but I make time to play with you guys. Wait, so Halo you could Infinite. make time before? Uh, I mean, I always could make time. <laughs> Okay. But this is driving me to make time. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. No, yeah, it's it's an extraordinarily fun game. I agree 100%. Now, having said that, let's talk about the progression system because we have the new fresh. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's yeah. start so, out. Now, everybody yeah. knows. The game. Yeah. Everybody knows we love this game. One of game the play funnest... is amazing. Yeah. Funnest... Okay, and I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, no go ahead. But I will, I will say this. I think that a lot of the... Not the criticism, but the reaction to the progression. A lot of it right now on the internet is overblown. Is overblown? Blown. You got blowed. Overblown. <laughs> overblown. <laughs> no, it's overblown. Like people deleting Halo. Like, okay. Even if you don't like the way the battle pass is, it's it's ancillary to the gameplay. Like if you're if your major concern, if you're uninstalling the game. Because, uh, and not the battle pass. I think the battle pass is decent. But the progression system, the way that they do their progression system, if you're uninstalling the game because of that, I think you're missing out. I honestly do. Like, that's, it's ancillary ultimately. It's still one of the funnest multiplayer games. Yeah, no, I think it's, I think That it's, I played in a while. It's, like I said earlier, I, I think it's some of the best multiplayer since Halo 3. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. That being said. It's like, it's like cutting your nose off to spite your face. Yeah, that being said, the progression is some of the worst. Since, the progression is since progression not progression was good. invented. It's not good. Pretty bad. It can be improved quite a bit. I wouldn't say it's the worst. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the worst either. But I wouldn't say it's n it's not even close to being the best. It's, no, it's it's less than average. It's second, less than it's second less, to worst. It's yeah. less than if you were well, to say okay, it was mediocre. One point eight out of five. Yeah, I would say one <laughs> level down from mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe a two out of five. I don't know, depending how I'm feeling that day. So having said that, I would like to start off this discussion with. I actually like a lot of people don't like the, that they're doing it through challenges. I can I I see I think I uh, I like the idea of challenges. I can see why they thought of challenges. 
The way they've implemented challenges is incorrect, though. It, so, for instance, when Fracture Event was coming out, or the, the, the Fracture Tenrai event that's here now, I assumed that you have your weekly challenges, which is four at the moment, and then you have your daily that you can do for 50 XP. Um, and then alongside that, you'd have a separate box with 10 ride challenges with XP that also goes towards your battle pass. It just, now you have more things to do and that would help with your progression. And then theoretically in my mind, like you're going to get a campaign special event as well. And you'd have these three and it total makes sense to me. Is that how that's, it works? That's no. how a normal person. Feels. That's, that's not how it works at all. You are limited. Your 10 ride events are inside your, your limit of four if any in it, weekly events that you can work on at any one time, once you knock out those ten Rai events, you cannot get to your next event challenge until it pops up again in your four, and you can see it. You yeah. can see it coming, but and is that RNG or is it in I'm order? Pretty, it's in order. Uh, yeah, from top to bottom in okay. order. Okay, yeah. it's in order. You can go on to HaloWaypoint.com and see when the next one's coming up. But it's not in order if you swap it. Like it's like in other words, like you can't swap it in the next one up. You, it, it doesn't work that well, way. Well, because when you swap it, it doesn't bump everything up. It just replaces what was there. Yeah, and so that I think if you swap, you still have twenty challenges yeah. per week. So that I think that I think is this. Everything is getting bottlenecked right there as far as progression is concerned. Well, I actually I really like the the concept of the Tenrai event. I like that you complete a challenge, you get a level. I I think that part. I think the event itself is really good. It's enjoyable. It's this extra thing to go for. The Fiesta mode, having it tied to one specific mode, great idea. Mm -hmm. But well, they need to make it so that I can just do those over and above my weekly so challenges. So I know Jordan wants to say something, but I want to counter the great idea that you just said. Okay. Uh, I want to bring in a game. I'm going to talk about a game that I've played for years and years and years. And originally, they made a lot of mistakes and Halo seems to be starting off making the same mistakes with the progression system and with events. Sure. Uh, Hearthstone, um, I strongly disagreed with how they did their event challenges. Okay. And Halo is doing it in the same way. I think if you are going to have an event where it's challenge-based and you get you know extra XP... It should be an additive, not a replacement to what already exists. Yeah, it's over and above. Correct. Meaning, if they give us four weeklies that we can attempt to f accomplish per week, you know, per session or whatever day. it is. Let's say day. Per day. Then, and you want to add, say, two to the event every time, you get a total of six. six. Mm -hmm. And that's what I thought it was. Before jumping in and actually playing it. Well, oh yeah. That. And then when you complete a event challenge, it replaces it with sure. another event challenge, not a yeah. random challenge so in your additive. pool. So an I do like that they're giving us battle pass XP for those. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's, and it's higher battle that pass should, XP. That should happen. I would say if they didn't, it would be even worse. But when you do that, what annoys the crap out of me um, is when I'm playing Hearthstone and it's forcing me... I don't like Battlegrounds. Mm, sure. I think I'm one of the few people that don't. Um, but I never play that game mode. However, they always have in the events a Battlegrounds uh, replacement to my normal stuff that I normally do, like get certain kills or do certain things in the game. It makes it so I have to play a game mode that I don't want to play just to remove that from my normal challenge list if that makes any sense i actually like the fiesta mode a lot yeah fiesta mode is fun so it's not a big deal right now but the fact that it's so, there's somebody out there that probably doesn't like the mm. fiesta mode and now it's bogging up their challenges that they want to accomplish mm. and i think that's inherently incorrect i think it it makes it so you don't want to play the game it, because it's I don't like that mode. I want to play big team battle. I want to play arena. I only want to play ranked. Why can't I accomplish these in those game types? Yeah. And they're replacing those ones that you would normally play in that. So in this case, I find it okay because, you know, I like, like Fiesta. Fiesta. Yeah. But the whole idea of that is, I think, incorrect. I oh, think they okay. shouldn't do that. If, if you're going to do challenges... Make it so you can still accomplish the regular ones that you are, just in case you don't like that game type. Yeah. That what they're doing is they're 
Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm just gonna go play so another instance, game. So for instance, because like next for like next next event challenge, whatever it is, I can see it special event. I can see it being like SWAT mode, right? Or oddball, or whatever, whatever. Sure. Big team. But now those and it, let's say I I like oddball, but let's say I despise oddball. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I don't like capture the flag. Let's say it's gonna be a capture the flag playlist, and now those things are bogging up my my challenges that I, I only have four and now two out of the four are the game types that I don't like to play so now I have to play those to just get them off of my list yeah it's really really frustrating yeah and I think so when you so I, I don't see I don't have an issue with that because I think like I'm I I, I know going in there are going to be some of these challenges that I don't like like that's just it that's part of what makes it a challenge is Getting over the distaste of, <laughs> of the See, challenge I disagree. Itself. I think the challenges should not be linked to playlists. I think they should be linked to gameplay. Gameplay, yeah. I think, don't you limit yourself, though, there, where it's just the same the same thing every single time? You can do it with a whole bunch of different... Get get three back smacks per game. Get Or get, you know, we don't like the weapons kills as much. Because the weapons don't spawn on some maps that you have to yeah, get. Yeah. But that's, you know, get like uh, 10 assault rifle kills. Get, uh, you know, stuff stuff like They already have that. But get stuff like that. Don't do game types because you're going to alienate a good percentage of your player base if they don't like that game type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's go to Jordan. Well, Jordan has <clears throat> a lot of thoughts on this. Well, I think so even let's let's say they keep the uh, like the game types in. Right. I think the problem is, and this is what me and David were talking about earlier this week, is I like to call it they're they're double natting us. I call <laughs> it the double nat. Yeah. Uh, because what they do is we get a random challenge and then we have to be put in a random game mode. Yeah. So you're double. So RNG let's say I have a capture the flag challenge. Yeah. I I play. I had stronghold. Perfect example. And this is where I got super frustrated. Play a stronghold match. I don't even have to win a stronghold match. I just have to play a stronghold match. Three hours last night, and I didn't get one single stronghold match. Yeah. It's incredibly frustrating. First of all, they're giving us RNG challenges, which I'm fine with the RNG challenges. That's not a problem. But why are you making my game modes RNG? They did this a little bit in Halo 5, and I didn't like it either. And this is where I told both of you this. How is it we have a new game that has... N I, or what? What? How did I word it the other day when I was talking to you guys? With I told less you, features. yeah. How is it, it? Is it fair to have a new game with less features than the previous games? In Halo Three, I was allowed to play Team Slayer if I want. David or Mark jumps on. Let's play Team Doubles. Let's jump into Oddball. Let's jump into a objective playlist where then it rotates through objective game modes. Mm -hmm. I think sixty percent of the issues would be fixed with the challenges. Not all of them. I think sixty percent of the issues with people people have with challenges would be fixed if they let us choose what playlist we wanted to play. Fiesta, for example. Why is Fiesta an event? Fiesta is a really fun game. It's mode. a really fun game mode that it's has really been that has been in previous to, game modes. It's a really fun why game is, mode to stream. Why is SWAT not in the game? Team SWAT, gonna, that's, a, that's a staple of Halo. Well, because Why we know now not, it's going to be an event. Yeah, and that's I don't like that type of design and thinking mm. because, again, it all comes back to that. And I think all of this ties into that progression system, right? Yeah. And, and I think it's specifically, I don't think it's like, oh, shoot, we didn't foresee that. I think it was specifically designed, okay, hey, we have them, uh, we have this challenge, win a, win a stronghold match. Let's make it so... They play a playlist, and yes, they can get strongholds, but it'll take longer. And if it takes longer, they'll then think to themselves, hey, I need a weapon swap. And how do they get a weapon swap Swap or a ch challenge swap? We yeah. sell it to them. No, I disagree with this analysis no, I, I, no, 100%. You, nope, because I, I don't disagree because this was brought up in the this was brought up in the beta by players. Like, yeah, that no, played but I don't minutes. think when they designed this, it they design, I don't think they think like that. I, I think obviously... To make money? Uh, no, no. Obviously... There is a push and pull with making money with a free to play game, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I but being a part of a game company where there's a push and pull with how to make money in a game, I have never been in a meeting where the discussion is how can we make more money for this. It's always how can we make this gameplay loop fun for people, and when it's fun for people, then they spend money. But how do you? And I think that's for that's three four three Microsoft. I don't think they're concerned about if I mean look, they're losing money on Game Pass right now. They're not concerned. I don't think about making money with Halo Infinite. I think what they're trying to do, and granted, I may have rose colored glasses, and I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt here, but I genuinely think they're trying to change the way battle passes work. We see that in their statements. They're saying that 
Uh, they don't want it to be this traditional like grind fest. Uh, and when, any, anytime you do that, you're going to trip and fall on the way. And you're going to also have people that just don't like the new way it's done. Now, whether or not they're accomplishing that in reality, it, it's, it's yeah, but not yet how many... there. But I definitely don't think it's... It's they're doing it with we'll add these in and they'll have to spend money. I disagree with. I just think that that's no. See, I, I think I, that's I, the I just, wrong because how do you, you spend as a game developer? You spend hours upon hours playing this and testing it. How did you? I mean, you can see like, oh, this is a bit tedious. Like, why don't we make it? They they I think they knew what they were doing. Th this battle pass and progression again. Why? Why did we not put Halo uh, at least? Halo Master Chief's progression in here uh, as well. So what Halo Master Chief does is they have their battle pass. The Master Chief Collection. Master, yeah, Master Chief Collection. They have a battle pass. Mm -hmm. That's where they were testing a lot of this stuff. And then they have like a regular progression system that uh, basically just shows your rank. It's, it's essentially a number. They do it in icons, which are cool. There's a bronze tier, silver, platinum, diamond, all the way up. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with skill. It's just basically time played. It's essentially a number, but they change it to a picture. This Halo Infinite is perfect because you can take that icon and at the front of every game put that right next to their nameplate. So you can see like, oh man, that guy has no life. He's played forever. Yeah. What you know? a badass. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, they, but in fairness... Why push everybody towards this progression system? Well, but that might... That, that system might be there uh, once we get campaign. I think campaign is going to tie into multiplayer, and multiplayer is going to tie into campaign. See, and I really do. And I think that's where we we disagree, David, because I think you're right. I think campaign. There is going to we we know that there's going to be stuff that you can get in campaign that carries over to multiplayer. I don't think campaign is going to save their progression system. Well. I would agree with you if they treated it in buckets like I thought it was going to be with this event, for instance, yeah. and added on if campaign challenges were added on top of current challenges, I think it would largely fix their progression, not fix it, but make it more palatable for people. But since you're but again, limited to four challenges, that's that's ultimately where the crux comes. It's your limited. I'll give you a prime example. I jumped in. I just want to do my I want to do a, f a few of the event challenges today. I had 15 minutes. 20 minutes, okay, I'm going to jump in and do it only to log in and realize, oh, shit, I've got to do these other challenges before I can even get, and I might not even get the event challenge next, right? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was that was the frustrating But part. see, that's that's where I think I don't, that's where I think it was done on purpose, because why would you, no, why think, would you sit in so. your development room and go, okay, we took a lot of flack when Halo 5 launched because we had like five playlists and everybody was like, where are these game modes? So why are we going to do that again? I know, and, I, and in my opinion, even worse this time because there is no dedicated team. Slayer. I think what they're there trying is, to know. do is something that's that they've not done before with a Halo, and that yeah, is make, make a it, lot of money off a of battle pass. No, make it infinite. <laughs> so it's it's going to be this infinite thing, and so you're balancing a lot of things there, and and they nailed it with gameplay. It's it's super. Oh, the fun. game is incredibly super, fun. Let's put it this way. Let's pretend some of the best gameplay. Let's pretend the battle pass didn't come out yet. That they were yet to reveal it. It's just gameplay. The battle pass will drop when the campaign drops. There would be zero criticisms well, about this game. There would be progression, like, hey, why can't I progress? At least, well, at least put a number next to my nameplate that says I'm a level five. Yeah, that would I make it for, super you know, you know I mean? fun. Remember Gears of War 2? Uh, and even Cliff Blazinski said this when Gears of War 2. He said shooters are now becoming RPGs. Because, and even he said, he said that number is pointless. All that number is, is it just says, hey, you got 50 XP per match, and now you're, you're number seven. You're level but, seven. But people he, loved it. But people loved yeah. it because they're like, oh, I'm number seven. I need to make it to number eight. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that progression. And that's why I actually, I think Master Chief Collection's tier system, where they give you those icons, and the more you play, uh, the more game modes you do, that, that level goes up. I think they should implement that into Halo Infinite as just a regular progression. Yeah. Well, so maybe, right here, we're watching live. See this front screen? Right when it shows my name there, it can put my my level well, next. Maybe they will know? with campaign though. Then why won't they say it? They're taking why a wouldn't lot they do of, it yeah, they're now? Ta they're taking a lot of flack for this battle progression. Why wouldn't they say, "Hey guys," because if they came out and said, "Hey guys," I know you don't like the progression system. Just keep in mind, just wait. when the campaign yeah. launches, there's going to be a lot more. That's why I think. Well, I okay. Oh, here's you're, pu you're putting a lot on the campaign. Well, here's well here's the thing. Um, f first of all, we do have a super chat. We'll get to that in one minute. I just want to finish this thought. Praise the sun said they definitely did it on purpose. The whole game is based around the progression system. I agree. no, I agree that the whole game is based around this progression system. I don't agree that 
it was they did it with oh we're just doing this with this bad intention oh this is a money grab we're gonna make them spend so much money on this game I disagree with that if if it if that was the case games that do that usually don't have good gameplay they've not taken the time to to make, to create good gameplay this this has nailed everything except the progression system I genuinely that's believe, probably why they thought they can get away with no it. I ge- no I genuinely believe they really are based on their statements in the past they really are trying to to revolutionize the idea of a battle pass and they just they just didn't do it right. But why why are there no armor coatings to unlock then? Why why are there why is the first armor free armor coating in the battle pass what is it level 65? Well, this is their first time. This is I, I think and, this will, and, I think this is okay. a little improve. I no, I think it'll improve too cuz they've all, they have all come out and they said that they're 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 working on improve. They've already made a slight improvement which is 50 XP per match. I would love to see 100 XP for a win and 50, 50 for yeah. every other match. I think that would be a little bit better as well. Um, the the big things I would like to see that my two big things I would like to see because I think it would fix a lot of the issues not all of the issues but a lot is I would like to see a Master Chief style tier progression system with those okay. icons and I would like to see actual playlists for different game modes okay. and I would like to have the classic Halo game modes like Team SWAT Infection why is Infection going to be an event like these are all games that were in Halo 3 and Halo Reach. Like that, that's why I asked you guys that question. Is it okay for a new game to come out with less features than its previous titles? No, uh, yes. Oh, okay. Well, another one. I think, is. I think because this isn't this isn't just the this is the first step in a infinite journey, right? It's not it's not they're starting this is something they've never done before. So it's not but, just w- But why can't, Okay, if it was Halo 6 and it was the traditional package that we get we got, that's not acceptable. But I don't think that's that's right either because this is an infinite journey that they'll continuously add on. Bungie over Halo 3 and Halo Reach added a lot of stuff on throughout its life cycle and launched with a lot of content. Yeah, yeah. Spicy's really quiet over there. Let's bring Spicy yeah. in. Yeah. Me and and this is the conversation we had in the car the other day. I called him, <laughs> yeah. him an idiot. I yeah. said, don't ever <laughs> talk to me again. <laughs> Real quick though, let's let's do this super chat real quick. Uh, we did get a super chat from Super Shocker. Thank you very much, Super Shocker. He says, "Where is the battle royale?" I would like to know where. It is. Uh, in a year, it'll come out. Brad LeCompte, however, d- uh, playing off of that super super chat. Thank you very much, Super Shocker. Brad LeCompte said, "After playing Big Team Battle, I actually agree with." Uh, with X One, who says uh, that it doesn't need now, a battle royale? We, we, me Big and Brad, team battle is fun. Me and Bradley Compe talked about this on the stream this week, and I said, "No, I I agree with you. Big team battle is fun, but imagine <laughs> if it was a battle royale." You know? <laughs> All right, spicy. Uh, you've sat and listened to uh, Jordan be wrong and <laughs> for the last twenty minutes. Uh, no, what 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 are your thoughts on on everything? So I think, I mean. I agree with I actually this is going to sound stupid. I agree with both of you guys. It's a very politically correct answer. But I believe oh, I, <laughs> I believe Jordan is right right now and David will be right in a month. No, oh, right, yeah, right. <laughs> when the game actually launches. I feel they purposefully put this out as a beta. I think they're this is kind of their getting the community listening seeing okay they think this think this yeah they're right yeah no let's careful with this cuz that'll damage the integrity blah, blah blah that's as far as the development side i feel like this was a smart move to have this month one mm-hmm. and on launch i think that we're going to get everything hopefully i mean even call of duty 15 years ago was having prestige mode which gave you a little symbol that said how much of a badass you were yeah. not because of how good you were but because of how much time you played well and that's how it is it's a very like, when you see someone that has no life you're like whoa yeah, that dude he's that is guy. awesome yeah, that guy oh, i'm envious yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um so i i agree with both of you i but i saying that there's problems uh, with the progression system is 100% correct. Yeah. I mean, even the event that we just had, uh, the fractured event, if you look at it, there is only one thing in the whole week-long event that is worth something, and I think they shouldn't have released that one yet. Yeah. I think that should have been the at the end of the thing, and I'm talking about the armor, which is really cool armor. It's the samurai armor. Yeah, the core. The core. But if you look, uh, what is it? So there's three actual things, which is a... Basically, I, I equivalent e- equate it to the Overwatch sprays. It's a symbol you can put on your profile card, yeah, and then banner. a profile card yeah, thing, yeah. and then the armor. The rest are XP and swaps. And I, I don't think you should do an event 
with those at all. If you look at, if you count up the entire 30 things that you're not going to be able to do at all until February, 16 out of the 30 things or are swap. XPs and swaps. Mm-hmm. So half, 50%. More so, than so half. The XP, it's not XP boost, it's actual XP. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Was I it think 200 applies or 250? For an event yeah. to have that many fillers? Yeah, no. I think, it, I think if you half that number, you had seven, that's acceptable. This is what I think they should have done. Don't show us 30 levels and say you can only get seven levels. I, I agree. In Jordan one said week. this yeah. the other day. Yeah, I agree. I that. think you should have just given us seven things for this week. Yeah. And say, and then put that armor at the end and say, yes, this is what you, if you go to all seven, you get this armor. Mm-hmm. Then the next one that happens, they show you the next series. You get the crappy shoulder pad or the cool helmet or the whatever. Yeah. The real cool things we see are the gun skins, you know. Yeah, the, that I, BR skin at the end. Looks gorgeous. Yeah. So I think, I think this is a learning phase for Halo. I think it's a beta. I think they're going to take all the data that the world is giving them, and they're going to improve it. It was there's a reason they put it on the beta. And I'm with you, David. The gameplay is phenomenal. If we didn't have any of this, people would still be playing this game yeah, yeah. because of the game. Yeah, that's why well, I think we're still playing. Like I play yeah. it every night. Oh yeah. Because well, it's fun. and that's what that's what's killing me. Like. People that are, I think people are overstating the issue for now. Now, if this goes like three months in and it's not been addressed, then that's when, okay, I see why you would inst- uninstall it from your game. But to uninstall it now, it's like, no, guys, it's no, still it's, 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 an amazing multiplayer yeah, game. Yeah. You're just unhappy that you're I, not getting enough XP. I think the if they were to do one thing to fix 70% of the problem, that is to remove any challenge that has anything to do with, with a, a specific type. game type while you have playlists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because what's happening, this is what's happening. If you look at your score screen when you go into any game, there's about, in the first minute and a half, there's about 10 people that come yeah, and go. No, he's right. People just leave. And so for a minute and a half, the teams are imbalanced it's breaking bot, the yeah. integrity of the yeah. the competition of the game, the spirit of the game, because people are going, oh, I, I, I need a capture the flag mode. I don't need oddball. Yeah. You and know what would leave. also fix that? Letting us have a capture the flag playlist. Yeah. Letting us, you know. But, well, so you could switch it. You could do yours, removing them, or do Jordan's solution, let you choose. I don't think they're ever going to let us choose. I see, think there's a reason. That, that, I think, is a terrible move. No, I, I do think... not like it when games tell me how to play the game. Yeah, and that's what... Why was Skyrim so fun? So wait, spicy. If if they sw- if they removed it, it, but if they removed those challenges, would you still have a problem with not being able to choose your quick play? It would be a lot less of a thorn in my side because I'm trying to seriously. You look at your challenge. I have to play a stronghold match. Okay, Jordan wasn't able to get a stronghold match in three hours of gameplay. Yeah, yep, unless yeah. he were to just instantly exit the game. And relaunch, exit the game, relaunch, and load up. And in the meantime, I have a double XP that I've earned that's burning the clock. The double XP, the fact that you have XP boost doesn't actually make sense in this mode of. Yeah, because of it should be a, it should be yeah. it shouldn't be attached to time. It should be att- attached to, to the amount of challenges. challenges. And it's yeah. this is so interesting that all the problems of this game have nothing to do with gameplay. I feel like the weapons are balanced. I think uh-huh, the yeah. I think the maps are great. No I way. think the vehicles are actually fun. I think e- being able to take down the vehicles makes them so they're a lot more balanced than let's say a battlefield match. Yeah. I think I think the game is damn near perfect. Yeah, gameplay wise, as far as Oof. the game goes itself, nope. It is so fun. There's a reason we consider it as good as the previous ones that were good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, all my issues with the game all come back to the progression system. Yeah. And and that's where it's it's kind of like, and that's why I feel well. This is the thing. Look, playing, I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 2042. As well, yeah. right? Battlefield 2042, who is EA, who is a mitro transaction whore. Let's yeah. just be honest. That's what they are. Even in that game, if I get 30 kills with a weapon, I get a special skin because I got 30 kills with that weapon. Nowhere to be found in Halo. Sure. Well, Nowhere but, to be found. But I think so. Uh, Brevin. Simple stuff. Yeah, let's take know? some comments here. Brevin uh, writes in here in chat, says, Halo is the most fun I've had with a first person shooter since the last Modern Warfare. I, I mean, it's amazing. Brad LeCompte says, Halo Infinite 
just has that fun factor during the match, but then it has you crying in between matches. <laughs> yeah, because you're looking at your challenges. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Praise the Sun says getting specific vehicle kills. Uh, it should just be get X vehicle kills instead of mm-hmm. specific mm-hmm. vehicle kills as far yeah. as the challenge is concerned. Brevin says this is technically a beta still. Full release is December 8th. I feel that's when we get a lot of the features we want or expect from Halo. And I think like what you're talking about, Jordan, those things, I think that comes with with the full release of the campaign. Well, let's, and let, I think let's they're going to tie it in. Let's say on December 8th, they come with a bunch of big features, right? Why are they not telling us that now? Oh, well, I mean... Because the reason I think they're not telling us that now is because I don't think it was planned. If we do get features on December 8th, it'll be because of feedback, obviously, right? Which is good. But I think this was their system they were banking on. Well, no, the, I don't think they're... Here's the thing. If you think they're going to change the progression system, they're not going to change the no, progression system. No, I'm system. fine with challenges. They will tweak the progression system. Yeah, it needs to be tweaked. I'm fine with challenges. I think it's Apex. I haven't played the this latest season of Apex, so it may have been changed. But in Apex, you it's a similar system. You have challenges, and those challenges gave you stars, and then those stars equated to your battle pass level. Is that correct? Basically how it worked? You completed challenges, which then I'm sorry, gave you I battle. I'm sorry, I was watching. Yeah. The, yeah. So, uh, what were you saying? Sorry. Apex. Yeah. Apex has a challenge system for their battle pass. You would complete a challenge. It would give you... I, I believe it's stars, and then those stars would translate yeah. to your battle pass, yeah. right? It's the same system, but the difference between Apex yeah. is it doesn't it doesn't double nap me. It doesn't say, hey, play Battle Royale and then put me in a team deathmatch. Yeah. Y- you know what I mean? That, well, that's, see, you know, get rid of those challenges, and that fixes, like I said, 70, 80% of and, the problem. And don't, don't get me wrong. I don't want like a Call of Duty battle pass where it, it's literally like time play. I mean, those, those battle passes get tedious. I like the challenge idea. I just think they they either need to let us have a playlist. So if I have a get ten kills with assault rifles, I'm gonna go into Slayer, mm-hmm. you know, or or get to get to uh, uh, one that I commonly get is uh, kill the flag carrier twice or three times. Hey, go fun, into capture the flag. Fun fun tip here on your challenges. If you have a tier one challenge, so you can tell what t- tier you have by how much XP you're getting for it. So tier one is like the easiest. Oh, yeah. And this what is color it is. One, yeah. Um, so a tier one challenge, so specific challenges will say kill a Spartan enemy. If it says PVP, you have to do that against another player. If it does not, you can do it uh, against the bots. In a bot match. In the, in the bot match, in the bot boot camp. You can just fire it up. So I had some capture the flag tier ones. Just fired that up, had no opponents, grabbed the flag, boom, out. Only in tier one. Once you get to a tier two challenge, everything has to be against uh, a PvP. Okay. So fun tip there to knock out those easy tier ones. Yeah. There you go. Anyways, it's a good discussion. I think, I think uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Regardless, I mean, it's so much fun to play. How, no, many, no. Hours, how many hours do you two have combined it's in this? Pretty much. I've jumped into Battlefield twenty forty two to level some weapons here and there, but it's mostly been Halo Infinite. I, like I said, I think this is the best multiplayer. Or I don't want to. I think this is some of the best multiplayer since Halo Three. We'll see how kind of launch and a little bit afterwards goes. Uh, but it's 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 really a phenomenal game. They did a good job on the game. All my issues stem from just that progression system. Yeah, and this is the only game I've played this week. I did try to play Forza, but I couldn't. Oh, so. oh yeah. Speaking of which, everybody, we actually have a free spicy campaign <laughs> happening right now. Over uh, on Twitter, <laughs> what uh, spicy? Explain what has happened. Uh, this with, dates back. He's been, he's been banned from yeah, Forza okay, let for me no lean, reason. I'm gonna lean back a little bit. Okay, there's a story here. This dates back to I think the first Black Ops Call of Duty. This was like a uh, ten years ago, eleven years ago, when it first when I first started seeing what was going on. All right, let me tell you, my name. Has been my name for twenty plus years, Mister McSpicy. That's a great name. Great. I thought I think it's a fun name. It's a fun name. I it's got your a, identity. It's who you are. I got I got a thought of it when I was a teenager. I've had it forever. It's been my call sign for a long time. The first I ever noticed that something was wrong with my name, and there's nothing wrong with my name. It's just. Automated filter systems think something's wrong yeah, with my name. It's not human uh, reviewed. It was Call of Duty. It wouldn't let me join a clan because it would think that my name had a racial slur in it. And it's S P I C, if you want to, you know, spicy. That That's what the slur, it sees that and then it hates the name. 
my name is just so you know my name is not racist and it's not profane it's just that's just uh, whatever when you see it you're like oh i bet you that guy's like a cook they're taking four <laughs> letters in the middle of spicy mr mcspicy yeah that they the these autobots are like saying oh that's yeah. a bad word so i for the last 12 years of call of duty i have never been able to join a clan mm-hmm. which you know kind of sucks but i was still able to play the game it's like okay whatever that sucks but I still like the game. I'll still keep playing the game. So what has happened with Forza 5? I got a notification last week that said, you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> because your name does not meet our terms of service standards. It is profane. For questions or comments, please go visit our website. And I'm like, oh, damn it. This again? <laughs> but, on, but the difference, at least you could play Call of Duty. So with when Halo, they you, ban, or with Forza, you can't. When they ban you on Forza, you cannot play Forzathon. You cannot play race against people. They ban you completely from the online, and the game is an all online. It's game. an online game. The reason it's an online game is specifically the tunes. The liveries are okay. You know, I can I can go without changing my, sp- yeah. you know, my the skin of my car. But I need my tunes. <laughs> I need to tune my car. Oh, yeah, you're at a huge disadvantage. Well, you can't. You can't I, even accomplish some challenges that way. They you from that. Mm-hmm. And so I tried. I I tried to not make this a deal. I tried to go through the normal channels. Yeah. Really, I went to. It took me forever to find their customer support. On four is a customer support. Went through Google instead of their website. Finally found where I could put in a ticket, and they actually have an option, a drop down banned you know yeah. this what's the what's it about it's about you guys banned me i want to talk about for it. like a manual review or yeah whatever. i want to talk about it so i put in this whole you know I, I know what's happening it's your automated filter system thinks i'm a bad person <laughs> and when i hit submit it instantly i noticed this it instantly said solved which tells me that you know like when you do tickets it's like yeah. an open ticket which tells me they could care less if someone is responding to do a ban about a ban. You yeah. know, it just automatically is filtered into their trash bin, their spam yeah. folder. So, I gave it three days, four days or so. Then I tried again, and this time I said technical issue because it is a technical issue. Yeah. It has been open for three days, and just so everyone knows, my ban was for seven days, and then it resets, and then. I can play again. And so today I was able to play again and I played that game. Yeah. Uh, but it's just a matter of time. It's a you matter of time re, uh, before banned. the Autobot goes. Anyways, we've set up a campaign to free yeah. Spicy. I just linked it inside chat here on YouTube. It is pinned to the top of chat. So go retweet the tweet with hashtag free Spicy at Forza. Uh, we just want a manual review so, so I, he doesn't get banned again. Yeah. So I tweeted, uh, you know, I went through the normal channels, got no response. So then I, you know, used my power of social Twitter, Twitter, which is funny. It was uh, almost a year ago to that to like of your last tweet today what was my last tweet that's how often I'm, I'm on twitter everybody yeah. i'm not a twitter guy but uh i do that <laughs> and then david you yeah he now is wanting to start the free spy hashtag yeah, free, free spicy, spicy I campaign think all, i think it's hilarious free spicy so come retweet well, uh, I, can't hashtag free the, spicy. I can't be the only one that has to deal with this well it's got to be like like you said it's, <laughs> it's like a know, you, it's you, like a dick an auto dictionary that they're using uh, and it's just an auto dictionary <laughs> well, no, <laughs> it's, it's like, funny that david says that because i've seen like i've seen like you me, you're getting banned but meanwhile johnson 69 drives right by you and you're like <laughs> yeah. well it's that guy uh, i'm and let me be clear I'm okay with a system that prevents, uh, you know. Th- I'm okay with well, yeah, that. This is just the this is just the case where the the bot I, is, the bot is wrong. If you're going to do this automated, you need manual review. Options. You need a way for somebody to come forth and be able to, ex- you know, to clear their name. Yeah, because I tried back originally. You for need a Call democracy of, with Call of Duty. <laughs> the reason I stopped caring is because they did nothing for me. Yeah, but I they, got no responses. But they at least no, they did nothing. Well, I mean, but they at least let you play their game, though. Well, uh, yeah, but that wasn't a product of them. That was because the game. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. This, yeah. Go. That's well, really, what's funny is I don't understand why they don't use the same system that hides skins. Uh, yeah, Just star yeah. your name out. You know yeah. what I mean? 
Uh, anyways, so, oh, can I give a message because of that? Yeah. I was trying really hard. I was very dedicated. I had, a, even on our clubs, I had a little um, thread going. If people want an X1 Bro skin, just hop on, tell me what skin it was, and then I would make an X1 Bro skin for, for players for, for their the car, cars yeah. in the community. Well, I dropped off the map <laughs> for about seven days because I couldn't even go do anything. <laughs> so I am sorry for everyone that has put cars on that list. He's I've, back right now. I've and done let's like. Hope. I've done like 30 cars on there. Yeah, let's hope that he doesn't get auto banned again. But again, please join our uh, hashtag, free spicy. hashtag free spicy movement over on Twitter. There's a tweet that's up in YouTube chat. It's there right now at the top. Just click that. I button. swear I'm not racist or profane. I swear. Well, it's just it's just it's funny that it just picks random letters in the middle. That do yeah, it, it just Anyways. all it does is it's finding combinations, right? Yeah, it's looking so, and and maybe they fix it. Maybe maybe they okayed you, and and after this first one, you won't they be well they again. would have told me on the ticket. They haven't said anything. No response. Yeah, yet. I guarantee they have no one that even looks at those tickets. Well, it's like, no, they might. It's but. like the Netflix customer support number. It leads to nowhere. <laughs> it just keeps, it's just there it just for keeps, like it's just a loop. It's a loop. Yeah, it's, a loop. Yeah, it's just it leads to nowhere. <laughs> it's just there. Oh, uh, we did get another super chat from Super Shocker. He says, "Mr. McSpicy's." Gamer tag is just hot. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. It's, it's just too hot. hot. Too hot to handle. Yeah. Anyways. Speaking of other controversial things that I'd like to talk about. Oh, oh. All right. You all know last last week after the show, everybody, we went to Habit Burger. Oh, yeah. And I was expressing excitement to go home and watch Wheel of Time. And I watched Wheel of Time. Are you going to do any spoilers? Let me start out. No spoilers. Okay. B- well, this is the spoiler. It sucks balls. <laughs> <laughs> I was so disappointed. It made me mad. Movies and shows normally don't make me mad if they're if they're even halfway mediocre, but I feel like a bait and switch happened here. I went and maybe my expectations were too high and this was wrong. Um I went in with high expect I went in thinking, okay, this is going Wheel of Time is a freaking sweet story. It's a cool series that I never finished, but I, I think I got like six books in. Regardless, it's season one, so I was really excited to see it come to fruition, and it's going to be like the Amazon Prime competitor to The Witcher, because The Witcher was was high quality, ton of money spent, clearly. This, within 10 minutes, I w- looked over to my iPhone and I was like, this sucks. I was so disappointed. I, w- I, watched, I watched the first two episodes. It feels like Xena Warrior Princess had a higher budget. <laughs> Than Wheel of Time. <laughs> well, you know what gets me? It's ab- terrible. And and ready for this? And Xena Warrior Princess, what it did have better? Oh, and I like Xena Warrior Princess for Who the Who doesn't? Lucy Lawless. Yeah. It, but it feels like the same graphics. And it's like, well, that show is forever long ago. Why is the graphics feeling the same here on an Amazon Prime uh, exclusive show with a major book? Yeah. What's going on here? But what Xena Princess does have better, Xena does, is camera work. The camera work is so off-putting. It... It's so disjointed. I can't. I have read this. I. I, It's not like they're past me in the books. I know what's supposed to be happening, and I can't keep up with it. I can't imagine if you've not read the books or you have no idea how you're not just completely lost immediately. It's. It. I am sorry if you like Will of Time. So it's it's definitely. I don't. I, I. It made me mad. I don't know if I say like it sucks. It sucks. It sucks hard. But uh, it's definitely a really slow start. And I did not know that Amber Crombie and Fitch was in this universe. Because <laughs> there was there was a scene where someone was wearing like an infinity scarf. And I was like, well, that's like the, the clothing is very like it's it's very when I know. Co- co- well, no, but no, that's part of the, even the set. Uh, the set. The set, it comes off as inauthentic. That's everything is so <laughs> inauthentic. I feel no attachment to the characters. Al, you haven't given me a reason to care about the characters and this is someone who immediately knows who the characters are if you're i can't imagine if you've not read the books well so i'm not i'm 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 reading the first book right now oh well there you go andrew there you go i'm wrong andrew cool just says me and a friend of mine have never heard of the books and we're both enjoying the show So, so so in in fairness i maybe have just come in with too high expectations yeah but i will say so I'm currently re- not a fan. I'm on currently my part. reading the first book as I'm watching the show because I kind of just wanted to watch the show, but I read. I'm reading the book too. Uh, no, it's just I I like the universe that they're setting up, but it's just the first three episodes were it was a slow start. So I I want to see what the whole season does. Yeah. 
you know. But anyway, okay, let's go to Spicy because yeah. Spicy's the diehard Wheel of Time fan. Yeah, I mean, I read a lot of fantasy books. I've probably read Wheel of Time maybe five times, which is saying something because I think it's the no question the largest fantasy series that take that's like an actual series. It's big. Yeah, it's it's t- if you start reading this book, see you next year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm trying to watch it as somebody that hasn't watched it before. That said, they're making interesting choices as far as plot, and I get you. It is kind of low. It's like low high budget, like the <laughs> low like, budget. Like okay, I'll give like, you an example. The, they didn't go to Walmart. The, but what's the step up from Walmart? They but went the to step Target. Yeah. Well, like, there's <laughs> magic. Like there's magic in it. Maybe if it wasn't so low budget, I w- I wouldn't be so. The magic, disappointed. The magic graphics, I think, is what sucked up all no, the so budget. Bra- Bra- well, but the magic actually... graphics, even like the so the first major magic battle that happens right at the beginning, mm-hmm. I'm sitting there thinking, I I think I could do this. Like I think oh, I could make myself. Uh, I see they're using Movie Maker. I think on I those ten. <laughs> Here's my laptop. Let me see if I can replicate this real quick. <laughs> no. Um. And then like there's one part where well there's one part where some. Some items, some trees fall, some boulders. And you know in Hercules and Xena were like, it's clearly foam? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like that kind of feel. And I'm like, what well, is happening? Uh, Brad LeCompte in chat has a good point. It feels like a CW show. <laughs> that's there. exact. Yeah. And so I does. think that's my problem. And what I, I, what I was expecting was so a does. Witcher level... Uh, yeah. Game of Thrones level production. Well, Witcher Witcher has like grittiness to it. Well, authenticity. This has Amber Crombie and Finch. I, authenticity. Like, when you look at their clothes, you'll think, oh, I think I saw that yeah. same shirt. The problem is, I mean, I love this series so much. I knew I was going to be disappointed, and I am. But you're trying to like hold out hope. So yeah, but no, there's no hope. <laughs> uh, no matter who did it, on how they did it, they were going to fall short of the books. That's just how. That's just how production is nowadays. But you could have at least gotten like, you know, that was decent compared to the books. That was an adaptation. Well, of the they're books. making they're making some seriously odd choices in the plot. Mm-hmm. They do. I I can't. Well, I've I've noticed. I'm not gonna say anything. But they they even taken some characters that I really really liked in the books, and they're turning like they're good people, and they're turning them into the sleaziest, you know. Just douches. I've ever, like it's like uh, oh okay that that guy wasn't like that in the oh are you books. talking about yeah yeah because I'm at yeah. that area and it's just like oh okay that's an interesting choice okay and then they're doing I I can see what they're doing with some characters to try to you know lean the story into the direction faster and I don't think they they should. I think the story is strong enough to stand on its own, but I think they're doing they're doing the whole Justice League problem. They're trying to go too fast too soon mm. with as far as the plot. Mm. Mm. And I think that's a mistake. Milk it. Milk those suckers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Milk them. Yeah. What we need I think is someone like Andrew who him and his friend are enjoying the show. I I think I'm taint I think I I fully recognize my opinion might be tainted because I had such high expectations and wants. It's, so I, w- it's, I would be very curious on... I, I wish one of us had no idea. Well, the problem is... Well, it's a, they, the best way to put it is it's a CW show. That's, yeah. that's what it is. It's... I mean, I used to really... I mean, the Arrow, you know, Oliver Queen. I loved... I love that character. And now he's forever in a love triangle <laughs> with every single person looking like models. The one thing about and, the CW, though... Is I don't know how they do it, but every single person in their shows are incredibly attractive. That's even that's like the I'm old saying. people. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it breaks. It, it's so much to this to that sense that it breaks immersion. Yeah. <laughs> like there's so but, real people. But no, I don't. Even, but even, I don't even have a problem. Even the extras are like <laughs> super attractive. No, but I don't have like, a problem wow. with that because the CW at least has some authenticity and some production value there. No. I, no, no, it doesn't. No, I it doesn't. No, I'm I not going to deny that. I think I agree with Brad LeCompte, who says it It looks like it was shot in the back of Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. It's like... Well, well and everything is green screened. Everything and, and, but, and it's not even good green screen, because <laughs> yeah. one of the first epi- opening scenes is well, this. Maybe. They ride away. These characters ride away. Opening scene. And it pans out. And, like, <laughs> it's fake. 
<laughs> like there's, no, there's no other way for me to describe like it. They I was literally like, probably could. Where did they film this? Los Angeles? They could have like went uh, it's an hour in a warehouse. Down, they, yeah, they, they could have went like an hour down the road and just. You probably could have pulled up stock footage of yeah. just people riding horses. They well, should have went to the local high school film uh, class. It's a, yeah, and had them green screen. That's them. funny you brought this up on the show because it really is. It's it made di- me mad. It's disappointing, but I'm trying to. I have expectations <laughs> that I'm going to be let down immediately. And so maybe I'm just like, eh. maybe maybe a lot of their funding got diverted to the rocket. <laughs> to to it, was rocket. Like, it was like rocket? originally <laughs> going to be a high end Game of Thrones. And they're like, going no, have you uh, seen this rocket? And then Bezos building? was like, they're like, hey, what happened to our money? And Bezos was like, I built a rocket. Money. I built a rocket. I built a wiener rocket. You <laughs> <laughs> went to my wiener rocket. <laughs> you want to talk about graphics? <laughs> uh, uh, well, and. Here, oh, so I just watched the show. I don't. Well, it's Friday, so they released a new episode today, right? Are they releasing three episodes every Friday or one episode Something every like Friday? That. Or that? I will go back to this. I think. So is the storytelling though so far overall enough to keep you there? Me? Yeah. I've stopped watching it. Oh, you did stop. Watching but it. I'll. But I just because I had Halo to play. Oh, from I see, I the see, books. See. This is this is my. So I'm not very far in the books. I'm. Yeah. I'm, I'm. You know. I'm. I'm in the first area. Okay. You know. Um. In in the books, in the okay in the show, everybody seems really tense all the time. In the books, they kind of are like, "Oh yeah, this is a tense situation," but right now I'm eating breakfast, so I'm not going to be tense. You know, like it, like you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I guess. Like they feel. Yeah. It, oh, it feels the, more natural. It feels more. Na- you, it feels more books, natural in the books. The books has better writing mm-hmm. than the show. Okay, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. It feels, especially uh, Maureen's uh, character. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She feels more natural in the books, whereas, and I really actually like the actress that they picked for Rosamund Pike. Yeah, I think they did get. But her. it. She just seems tense from no, it's, minute one it's true. to now. You know, I was actually just, tense. I was actually just going to say that, and I've said this on the show many, many times. Writing. And the last five to ten years has just pooped. Mm. Dune, man, you have got. To I've seen it. Don't they? Oh, don't they, oh, don't we'll, they? We'll talk about that next. Doesn't that's, Dune write with their cameras? Like everybody oh, says, it's like a cinematic love story. Well, see, yeah, they, that's they take their time we'll, to tell the story. And but that, we'll, we'll talk about that. And next. that's why that sh- that show that movie shines. But I'm I'm telling you, production has gone down. But more specifically, you can have a crappy looking show. But have it enthralling. Oh yeah, yeah. with a good, with a good story. story. I mean, that's every every talented YouTube creator. Well, not even necessarily story, because we have a good story with the Wheel of Time. But it's how it's written, mm-hmm. uh, and that has plummeted like significant. I think I think the the old school writers that have just done so good for the last 50 years yeah they're all retired now i don't know that it's plummeted significant oh it has in my opinion. i think for yeah. movies it has i think all the i think it goes where money is and that's why i don't understand oh nope. why why amazon Prime? okay did, i just i just so watched bad. a movie with my wife it was a netflix movie it was yeah. with the rock and oh, uh yeah, and deadpool the, yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah. is the it the red one the like, red something their agents or something yeah. like that yeah, yeah the movie is meh throughout it but there's a part where it just falls apart. <laughs> like, and you, everybody that's seen it will know exactly. You're, yeah, yeah. No, no, no but po- I, what I'm saying is, movies is not where I think series. But that's a is, Netflix series, though, is where where writers are going to now. I'll bet you that movie cost a lot of money, yeah. and that's a that's a See, Netflix here's the thing, though. I watched the trailer and thought to myself, this movie looks like it sucks. Oh. So <laughs> it could be. Oh, I, I mean, it has potential to be like. An action adventure like the Mummy, you know. Well, which it was really, like, I enjoyed the it Mummy. Could have been like, years ago. Uh, like an Expendables experience. Well, it could have been like first, Night and yeah. Night but Night Day. What is that? Night there? Day. That was Night actually day. a really that good. That one's movie. good. That was actually yeah, a really good, good movie. With Cameron a, Diaz and and my uh, wife Tom is Cruz. she watches movies normally. I watch movies because I'm in production, you know, and I like to see camera angles and all that. I pay attention to that stuff. There's a point where I like looked over at my wife and I'm like, this movie's just falling apart. And oh, yeah. she and she was like. I know. I I don't know. My my wife and I were about to watch that, and I watched the trailer, and I was like, nah, I don't think so. I don't think this is going to happen. You should watch it it just to see what I mean. It feels uh, just like it's not there. The the writing got lazier and lazier, and then all of a sudden, it was just like, eh. (laughs) It was was bad. It's like Um, a train wreck. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Anyways, that's Wheel of Time. Uh, 
Oh, Andrew, can we pull? Can we pull up Goat Boy? He says uh, you're comparing it to The Witcher. Let me just say Goat Boy. It is true. Goat Boy was was not the best part of Witcher. If you remember, I I actually have it pulled up here. I don't even. That was Goat Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. Yeah, <laughs> we go. We could pull it up, but yeah, no. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. That was just my feelings. That's going to give me nightmares. That was, just, yeah. that was just my feelings on Rule of Time. But I'm glad you watched Dune finally. Okay. I was in. I was hooked on Dune from scene one on and just completely like the rest of the world disappeared for me and I was sucked in. Did you have the same experience or no? Well, I just think it was a high high quality production and high quality writing and... Nowadays, that just makes it shine so much more. Oh, it was yeah. That's so, a, did you, wait, did you watch it in movie theater or did you watch it at home? Uh, I watched it at home. Okay, um, I'm going actually going tomorrow to watch it in the theater. Oh, okay. because I want to. I want to see. it Yeah, in the that's a movie that would be great to watch in theater. So I am going tomorrow with my brother to go see it because oh, nice. I want to see it in the theater. Um, hey, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> do you want to come? No, 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 no. I have stuff to do, but it's in the evening. Oh, maybe then. I'll I'll find Text out. Text me the details. Yeah, Jordan, do you want to come? Get your people. Uh, have if your I people. I can. I actually have a busy day tomorrow. Wait, are you going? But if it's in the evening, that's more likely. Wait, are you going to uh, Megaplex or Cinemark? Uh, that is a determining factor for me. The one over here in uh, Centerville. Oh yeah, yeah then that's I'm good. I'm one. golden. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll we'll talk. My people will call your yes, people. Yes. Uh, no, but I just think. I mean, if that if that show Wait, was. Wait, also, which brother are you going with? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's just going to be a surprise. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. That also <laughs> might be a determining factor. <laughs> um, no, if that movie was, say, like mid 90s, it would have just been, I mean, it would have been really good. But because it's been released today, I think it's just amplified. Oh, I found it, so I found it refreshing. Better. Uh, so it's just so much it's, better it's than really any good. other movie around it. That's the thing. What my worry with Dune is, so this was number one, is that it's it going to be a trilogy? Is there three of them? Isn't there like five books? There's actually I don't know how many books there are. But I don't know how many, books. but there's going to be multiple movies. My worry is is that number two won't match number one, and it will just it'll all be for naught. Like I hope it maintains the same feel the same aesthetics the same really taking your time and telling the story and not telling the story just through dialogue and, and things happening but through your set pieces and the camera work and the costumes and the the contrast in colors between the different characters and it's, it's so good i really i i really best sci-fi that I've, I, I mean, I can't remember the last time I felt that the last time I felt this way about a sci-fi movie was when I was a kid watching star wars cool I'm glad you liked it that much. Yeah. yeah. It's really, it's good. It's yeah. definitely good. Anyways. Uh, Dune makes me wish I had a uterus so I could have its babies. <laughs> says Bradley. <laughs> says Cobb. Chad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, there we go. That's our opinions on nonsense. Battlefield came out with an uh, update. Jordan the Man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, yeah. A ga we're a gaming podcast. Uh, yeah. It's just that I, I guess they're coming out with two updates within the next 30 days. So this update, I think that major issue they played, I haven't played the update yet, but the major issue they fixed, I believe, was the bullet spread. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm excited Here, to jump into that. Here's my question, Jordan. So Battlefield, I want to talk about Battlefield, and I'm going to specifically do Battlefield versus Halo. Uh -huh. We didn't think we would be having this conversation. No, you, think, oh, yeah. you yeah. thought we'd be able to knock out Battlefield and then move to Halo. We thought we'd be yeah, we thought we'd be able to have Battlefield for a while until the next one, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Call of Duty comes next. No, no, Call of Duty's already out. I mean, the Vanguard's out, right? Yeah. But um, Oh, they I know they're coming out with that new Warzone. Yeah, map. yeah, which yeah. Um but because there were so many issues with Battlefield and then Halo, the gameplay, we're not talking about the progression anymore. Do you think it knocked, like, it just swept Battlefield into the I, dust? I think because Halo's gameplay is so perfect. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we said earlier. Because Halo's gameplay is so phenomenal, I think it did knock Battlefield around a little bit. But see, here's the problem. Everybody that played Battlefield two days before Halo came out paid money. Yeah, yeah. So they made their they made money, yeah. you know. Yeah, so that's probably what I had. maybe they they knew something. So, yeah. but well, because uh, yeah. I feel like I feel like Battlefield just had as as so many problems as of right now. Uh, what's funny is they fixed they fixed a lot of they fixed a lot of the problems from the beta, and there was all new problems in 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 the launch. But 
Battlefield, uh, I think, w- eventually will be good because Dice is committed to supporting or to you know supporting well, him. They but, yeah. they come through. We know that they finally get there, and th- even if it takes a year, they'll get yeah. there. Three four three is kind of that way too. Um, they come through, but I would like them to come through on day one, preferably. Well, uh, but uh, see, three, I mean three four three. The reason I say that is because Master Chief Collection. Well, they they not had... good, but they came through, right? Uh, <laughs> Halo Five, uh, rocky start, but they came through. Um, Halo Infinite, I I wouldn't say it's a rocky start. I think it's a good start. I just wish there was a little bit more there. We'll see what happens on December eighth, the official release date. You know, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I think it's I a, would say this. I think it's a really good start. It I, has all the hype right now. No, I think it's. I, I didn't. I just say that. I think it's a good start. I didn't. I said it's not a rocky start. It's a good start. I, I just wish they would. Yeah, but I said it with more uh, affirmation. Oh. Uh, the thing is, is just it, because it, because I've been through this before. You know, it's just I've been through it with Battlefield. You're I've, a veteran. I've been through it with ha- like Halo Master Chief Collection. Broken at launch, took a long time to fix. Now it's perfect. I love the game. It's it, it's it's actually amazing having uh, that many Halos in one place and switching between them all. Mm. Halo Five. I think the multiplayer really good. Uh, the multiplayer was fun. I like how they incorporated the advanced movement. I thought it was very well done. Uh, whether you like it or not, it felt good. It, it was a good mechanic in the game. I prefer Infinite's gameplay over it because that feels more Halo to me. But I do think Halo 5's multiplayer component was good. Um, it just it it it's doing the same thing that Halo Infinite's doing. Is it 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 launched very. Uh, what would you say slim it, it didn't have all the game modes you're used to it, it didn't have um forge which is what infinite's doing it you know the campaign was less than desirable yeah but uh and we'll wait for december 8th to make that comparison you know so it's just i think halo infinite had a great start a great start david i there think it go. had a great start yeah. I mean, but it just it feels like we're but repeating if the same thing. But if it's stealing the hype from Battlefield... Well, I mean, Battlefield wasn't, you know... Battlefield <laughs> lost its own hype yeah, a little. Yeah. Like, it came out... I will say this, though. It was tough. It was almost Han- a joke. I'm going to say this. Hands down, Battlefield has a better progression system than Halo. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, <laughs> Slick and Twisted wrote in about Battlefield. He said, Battlefield updates were huge this week. Glad that they are doing weekly or bi-weekly mm-hmm. updates to enhance our Battlefield experience. No, Battlefield's still fun. And uh, I think uh, uh, Brand A, which is Beast, says, Battlefield feels different enough from Halo that I enjoy them both. It is a very different game. Hmm. Uh, and I do agree with that, and I do enjoy them both. I do think Halo did steal a lot of hype from Battlefield. And no, I, I agree with you. I think they have a good start. And the game is incredibly fun. Again, some of the best gameplay I've had since Halo 3. But if they just tweaked that progression system to be a little bit better, I think it would... Uh, I think they will in a month. And I, I honestly do. Yeah, a, a big thing for me, guys, I I like controlling my games. I like playing Team SWAT. I wish it was a playlist. I wish they had Team Doubles. You remember what we did in Halo 3 with Team Doubles? No. Okay, well then, there there goes that memory. <laughs> I do, Jordan, but why don't you just yeah. explain it? Uh, David and I played team doubles all the time in Halo Three. Yeah, not no, even true. a feature in Halo Infinite, and that's where. And that's not me saying the gameplay is bad. The gameplay is great. I think we've established think that. So, I'm just I'm disappointed yeah. in. Well, I think some of the some issues, of the stuff being held back. Yeah, I think some of the issues that we discussed is just that we don't have the complete package yet, and I think it all ties together. But we'll see. Talks of Butwin writes in. And says, hey, bros, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to you guys and the community. Yeah. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I finally was able to jump into Halo Infinite and was wondering if anybody has had trouble with achieving the challenges. I had one for 10 assists, but it wasn't registering for me. Yep. Uh, hope everyone has a wonderful holiday it this weekend. As for me, I get one day off a week until Christmas <laughs> as work grinds away. Thank you very much. Toxic Buttwind. Spicy, you have experienced this. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. And it's it all all comes it's, back to the progression. Jordan's right. It all comes back to the progression system. I don't want to beat a dead horse. But it's really frustrating yeah. when you're playing a mode you don't like and then that took register. five matches to get into, <laughs> and then it doesn't clock the, achieve, the challenge that you just did. Whew. 
It's a beta. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beta. I still like the game. Thank you, Toxic. We'll get there. Thank you, Toxic, and hey, happy Thanksgiving to you, my friend. Rosie Gamer writes in and says, What's your favorite Thanksgiving leftover food? I prefer turkey, mashed potato, stuffing, gravy bowl with cheese. That is a isn't solid. That whole, isn't that the whole meal? That's everything. That in, in, meal. Put, put in a bowl. I enjoy Thanksgiving. Put in a bowl. <laughs> No, that's uh, solid. I am a turkey cran. I need cranberry sauce. I love cranberry sauce. Turkey cranberry sauce. Also, some good yams. Yams. I, yams. I ready like for this? Yams something something, something controversial. I think marshmallows ruins yams. I like yams without my marshmallows. And that's our show. I'm gonna beat him up later. <laughs> <laughs> marshmallows. Don't at me. Marshmallows ruin yams. No, uh, I, I dropped the mic. I disagree. You're stupid. <laughs> I like uh, <laughs> that is uh, that is honestly the dumbest thing you've and ever said. My on mother-in-law and yesterday, you said a lot of dumb things. And my mother-in-law yesterday f- cooked yams without the marshmallows and had like the pecans in there and the sweetness and it was so good. I was like, yes, finally, no marshmallows. Yeah, you're stupid. And my life was made uh, better. You want to hear something funny about my Thanksgiving? Yeah, let's hear something. So my my son, he's the oldest. He put so much food in his mouth, he threw it up. Like really, he was really he was like he told me he says, I was waiting for this. Yeah. So, yeah, basically. Yeah. So (laughs) we we, were like, boy, don't be sorry. Be better. (laughs) No, he was saying uh, I was like, I was like, hey, what are you thankful for? And he said, turkey. Yeah. (laughs) And then what was funny is my wife was like, do you want to get a pet turkey? He says, yeah, then we can cook it. (laughs) And then and then we went to and then we went to eat and he was just like his 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 cheeks were and he already has like huge cheeks. His, he was like full, and you can and, you, and it was like, dude, slow down, and then just bloop. And then it all came out. <laughs> then we swapped the plate out, and he went back at out. it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, was, Jordan, but your uh, favorite leftover? Uh, potatoes gravy with the rolls, dipping it in. Ooh, oh, the yeah. rolls. Dip the rolls in the potatoes. I, and gravy. Oh, also green bean casserole, so, so such a solid after leftover. Spicy yeah. favorite leftover? Well, it's going to be turkey and gravy and rolls. No you know, one, no one drinks I was, cranberry sauce. Are you a cranberry sauce guy? It depends on the turkey. Oh, okay, okay. It uh, depends on how the turkey is seasoned. I was actually like flabbergasted yesterday because uh, green bean casserole, right? Yeah. Uh, delicious, right? Delicious. Someone at the table was like, oh, there's just too much butter in it. And I, what? Yes. <laughs> what? What do you mean? There's too much, <laughs> That's what? Hands down that, the greatest uh, secondary ingredient in the I history them, of the world. I legitimately butter. told them, I was yeah. like, that doesn't make any sense. You can't sense. have too much butter. <laughs> <That> <laughs> never have too much that butter. That literally doesn't make any sense. It, Pass them over here. If you get too much butter, it becomes a, uh, you know, a fry, like deep fry in butter. Yeah. Hey, speaking <laughs> of. one ingredient. <laughs> speaking of butter, can I tell you guys just a, a quick story? Hey, tell me So what. I actually learned how to make butter by you, accident. So, oh, the, by accident doesn't no, sound like a no, good no, story. Check this out. So uh, one of my favorite things in the world is chocolate satin pie from Marie Callender's. And those... Oh, so good. Those guys decided to like not do well in business, and they closed, closed like 50, 50 of the Can't stores. So anyway, I went over there... And on, the frozen Marie oh, Callender's suck. is not yeah, the they, same they're thing. They're terrible. They're, they're terrible. So anyway, uh, I had to go wait 45 minutes in line at a Marie Callender's like, in Salt Lake City, and they only had like two pies left because it was the day before Thanksgiving. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to beat this system, and I'm going to figure out how to make my own chocolate satin pie. Wait, can I just say and something? He, and he did. Yeah, it was close. It's close. This close. It it's is a little like, off, but it's close. Here is the chocolate satin, because it's one of my favorite pies it's as well. It is just under. Yeah. It's, he's so close. I know the part I, you got to figure out, Jordan, your crust was really good. I think. But I, there's a flakiness to the satin crust yeah. that, that, no, that I you, think, didn't, you didn't quite hit. I think I have to just use a tad more milk butter. chocolate. Get yeah, butter. No, no. So anyway, get, get, get so into the good. story. So, and, and I was actually telling Mark because you should Mark, make one for next week and bring it for the show. I should, yeah. I was actually telling Do Mark. It. Yeah. I was telling Mark this a little while ago because Mark actually told me this is cooking is actually really fun and relaxing. So we bought a new stove. I've been watching Gordon Ramsay a lot. Good for like, you. you know what I mean? so he I, purposely bought a new yeah. stove just to relax. Yeah. That so, is yeah, no. good this for my you. So I've been doing stove. a lot of cooking, and and I've always been intimidated by baking because you like you you mess up the big B and the little B, and your thing's gone. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> tablespoon, yeah, teaspoon, like it's yeah. just gone. So anyway, but it's I'm just baking chemistry. Yeah, I'm baking this this pie. Well, not baking because it's a cold pie. Anyway. So I'm like, okay, heavy whipping cream, because that's like you you whip it and then you whip mix it, it in with whip the chocolate good. and stuff. So anyway, I'm like, okay, I have that in the KitchenAid and I'm going to do everything else because that's just going. Mm-hmm. Apparently, if you whip heavy whipping cream too long, so it turns into whipping cream, 
But then after that, it, it's like a Pokemon. It has two evolved stages. <laughs> the yeah. second evolved it, stage is butter. The second evolved stage is butter, well, and I had right. no idea. Have you never seen those machines where they turn butter? I didn't know it was heavy whipping cream inside. I just thought it was like <laughs> butter the, juice. Yeah, it's cream. I thought yeah. it came from the butter tree. So I'm sit- <laughs> so all of a sudden, like all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, and then the bowl starts shaking, and like it's this. I'm like, whoa, whoa, and I what, turn it off, and I call my wife. I go, what happened? She goes, oh, you made butter. And I said, hey, oh. congratulations. <laughs> You I just said, wait, that happens? Uh, the so, chime happens. You evolve. Yeah. Charizard. Rose, R- so I didn't know that, but I'm still learning to cook properly and bake. So you, you know, Rose, that's City. Awesome. Yeah, Rose City Gamer, thank you very much for we that. We should, uh, for the spicy show, uh, for cooking, cooking with spicy, that someday will be a... Guest star Jordan. Yeah, guest star. I'll have Jordan on there. Yeah. We'll make <laughs> butter. <laughs> I know so how to right, make it gonna, really we good. We should make medieval butter. <laughs> 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 with like, just sit there and have you just, you know, In the machine shake weight it for like 20 minutes. Or for no, like I mean, I, I'm hour. sure. I'm sure. Like in my head, I knew somewhere, but it didn't equate. Like, okay, I'll just let that whip for a while, and I'll do all the other stuff. But it just whipped right into butter. Good for you, Jordan. Yeah, cooking's yeah. awesome. People, so I, I mean, I didn't want to waste the butter, so I used that butter for some of my rolls. Some of my greatest moments of my life is watching cooking videos. Just yeah, I've been watching. Up. Well, the reason I like watching Gordon Ramsay because the guy is so like. Like one Passionate. time, one time I saw him like sniff. Uh, it was I think it was like potatoes, and he was like, "F, these are amazing." And you're <laughs> yeah, like, "Oh my!" He's very passionate. Like he's, 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 he's if you if, he loves his craft. If you notice, he smells every ingredient. If you oh, notice, yeah, yeah. he'll he, and then he goes. He smells everything. It's fascinating. Probably because he worked on Kitchen Nightmares for a while. <laughs> oh yeah, the, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Making sure it's fresh. Anyway, uh, again, hey, thank so. you very much for that question, Rose City Gamer. Gamer Downside just writes in all he says is Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Thanksgiving. Hey, hey, Gamer hey, Downside, great weekend. And then finally, Calvin Smith writes in and says Halo Infinite keyboard and mouse versus controller. Thoughts go. Have you guys? Have you, you guys have played those? You guys have played the the. Um. So the I actually matches. did jump on the PC because I, there's three ranking brackets, and I actually want to rank in all three of them. So I did Ooh, play with keyboard and that's mouse. Ambitious. Um, I think they're both good. I think with the controller, because I have seen people talk about how their controls feel weird. I, They might feel a little bit... They feel good to me, but that... Okay. You're going to have to... The nice thing about Halo, let me try and figure out how to say this, is you have a lot of control with your controller. And I think it was more of a... They're going to get it to feel as best they can, and then they're going to give us all the options on that controller... To make it feel the way you want to feel it with dead zones, yeah. you know, wh- whatever. I mean, this is a uh, keyboard and mouse has always had that because it's just the way keybinds are, and it, you know, mouse uh, they've always had that, right? So I think that was their plan. It does feel better default from the beta because we had to make a lot of changes yeah, from the we beta had to, tweak it hard. To, to make it feel good. It, well, this is the beta, but well, the, okay, beta, the, the beta, the, the, the beta, beta, not the the marketing beta, <laughs> the the real beta. Yeah. Uh, is the tech test. Yeah, the tech test. It felt weird and we had to change it a lot. Default, when it launched early, it felt good. I made a few tweaks to it. I turned down my acceleration because I don't like that on controller. And so, yeah. you know, I made a few tweaks here and there, but uh, I think they both feel good. Yeah, Dieter Pinklage in chat says, I love keyboard and mouse, but Halo feels great with the controller if you tune the dead zones on the sticks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would just say, play what you're most comfortable with. I don't think, uh, I know a lot of uh, people out there think that one has an advantage over the other. I think the advantage goes to your comfort level, whatever you're most comfort comfortable with. I, I think there's no advantage to a controller. I would say, if anything, there's a, an advantage to having precise controls with a mouse, but that is directly tied to skill level. So I actually don't think there's uh, there's any difference. And if you want to know more, I would love to have this conversation with you. Because whoever says that there's a aim assist advantage, it doesn't understand. And I'm going to say that. They just, they, everyone that, here's the thing. Okay, hopefully I don't get into this. Everyone that complains about the aim assist advantage obviously hasn't played with it enough to understand that it is not an advantage. It is a necessary evil, and it lo- you lose more shots than you gain. Um, but everyone that has tried to go to a controller that I know of has sucked. Not necessarily because they're not used to a controller, because they they're everybody's not comfortable with it. they're not comfortable with it. But it just is inconsistent. It pulls away from someone running behind. It's just it's a terrible, necessarily necessary evil because there's dead zones on a controller, and I just, I'm just saying. 
People complain about it because they had they need to complain about something because God forbid it's it's your skill level that's at play, not the not the input device. Brother Buddha in chat says I use controller until I man the gunner on a warthog. There is a slight turn speed advantage. Solid. Oh yeah. Well, so with that, that's Brother Buddha, that's a good point. Um you actually want to play if you're driving with someone on the back, Jordan could take a hint from this. You don't run or you don't go right past them and then back again and then past them and then back again because the gunner can't turn fast enough. If you keep back or on one side of them or the other where the gunner doesn't have to spin around, in yeah. you're going to win way more battles than you lose. In fairness, Jordan is trying to run people over. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? And that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So um, No, it's actually kind of funny. If you look, look at the history of... I think people just like to be... They I need look, to have something just, to complain about. I mean, don't get me wrong. I complain a lot when I play in Halo. Because yeah. obviously it's not my skill level. Yeah. It's the other guy. Um, no, it's just kind of funny because remember like in, let's say, the early Xbox 360 PlayStation days, everybody was all about, oh, no, mouse and keyboard. It's mouse and keyboard. And then they started allowing, because it's better, right, more precise. And then they started getting beat by controllers. So it has to be something with the controller. And look, I'm not saying that, you know, some games don't have stronger aim assist than others or, or different, you know what I mean? But like, it's all, well, even the stronger aim assist screws up because unless it's a one V one. Yeah. The entire game is a one V one. And even then it's put it this way. I've seen professional players do crazy things on keyboards and I've seen professional players do crazy things on controllers and I've seen them both go against each other and they're good matches. Like I, it really is. Mark said it. It's really what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable if playing, you, you know. If you want to if you really wanted to do apples to apples, split up the player base. Have controller versus controller and mouse and keyboard versus mouse and keyboard. I don't think you need to do that. Uh, but honestly, because the joystick has a dead zone that it has to have, otherwise it'll sit there and jiggle and go cuz because it's a it's an analog device essentially, because it has to be physically there, it will there has to be a dead zone so you're not just randomly moving around. And you can actually tell this you, if you turn your dead zones off in Halo. It'll move. Yeah. you Because that has to happen, you have to have a dead zone where if you move the controller just a little bit, it won't do anything so you cannot be precise in a shot. It's impossible to be precise because of the limitations of the hardware. Mm. Imagine if you're a mouse and keyboard player. I've said this a million times on the show. If you're a mouse player, mouse and keyboard player, imagine if you moved your mouse around and the mouse didn't move for an inch in diameter until you were more further and then it finally moved. It would be a terrible experience and it would be unplayable. That is why it has to exist. That's why I've called it a necessarily necessary evil. The problem is with that, when you're playing a game that requires... Uh, not hit scan, but projectiles, which is most of the weapons in Halo, although they're all hit scan, or a lot of the weapons are hit scan. You can never, it's almost impossible to lead a shot because it'll move towards them. So it it's super frustrating to have to have aim assist. It is not a benefit. It is a detriment. I promise you that. If you disbelieve me, play with a controller for a week play. and and, and just... Get used to a controller, and then you'll be like, okay, this sucks. Even uh, even if you think about it from the controller side, I remember uh, way back when when controller players didn't want to play with mouse and keyboard because they felt that they had the advantage because of more preciseness. And now you have, I mean, just looking at tournaments I still think on them. that's true. <laughs> and now you have uh, people look at, uh, like, on a professional level. I mean, so we're talking the best of the best. I mean, you have controllers competing with mouse and keyboard, right? I, I really do think it comes down with what you're comfortable with. For an example, uh, Ronan, friend of the show. He, uh, he, I know he cranks his seven sensitivity all the way up on a lot of games, and I cannot do that. We're both using controllers, but we both have different settings that feel comfortable for us. I like you know? to use when a mouse and keyboard the ball mouse. I think it's the most accurate. Could you play? <laughs> I have wanna you try, done I want to try and play no, with no, that. I think it would be a I want to find. Can you find one like you'd on eBay? Like, you'd have to go like this, like. <laughs> yeah, you have to spin. You have to roll. You have to roll. You have to go like this. You'd like spin it and it click in the air to shoot. <laughs> Could you imagine how fast you could do a 360 no scope with that just <laughs> spinning? I want. I've never played with a ball mouse before. I kind of want to now, just to see how it would 
go. You'd have an advantage if you killed anybody according well, to they the have other those, person. They have those those. <laughs> yeah, he must be mouse. using a ball mouse. Well, they have that those, guy's using a ball mouse. Well, they have those <laughs> mice. Oh, you know they have, they have the those ball mouse on it? that is the ball. You could use. Yeah. <laughs> Be cool. Hey, great question. Yeah. Thank you very much for writing in, Calvin Smith. Appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you all are safe. That does us for this weekend. Hope uh, you're traveling, listening to this, enjoying yourself, and uh, are taking time out from your busy schedule to just be grateful for life, for gaming, for fun. We're grateful. We're grateful for all of you. We're grateful for you for listening. Thank you very much. We appreciate you guys. We love this community, and we'll see you guys next week. See you later. Bye-bye.